Hello, my name is Grunful Me. I live in the gardens of Maywood House, which are now covered in a thick layer of winter snow. When the first snows began to fall, the robin came to announce that winter had arrived. All the garden fairies awoke at the song of the robin and began their work. Prudel Targ was one of the smallest fairies, but not as small as Oddly Small. Some fairies liked the snow better than others. Garboil, the grumpiest of all the fairies, hated it. Those pesky fairies, he said grouchily. Every year it's the same. Look at that funny man, said Prudel Targ. Oh yes, said Oddly Small. He's moving. Do you think he's cold? Let's ask him, said Prudel. Excuse me, he said. But the snowman said nothing. We saw that you were very still and wondered whether this was because you were cold. Perhaps, said Prudel, you'd like us to warm you up or something. Just then, the fairies caught sight of one's old scaffolage plodding towards them. There's a large human over here in a white coat who doesn't move. Ah, oh, fascinating, said scaffolage. Being round fellow in a white coat, you see? I think I should go and ask the robin. He'll know who it is. And that's exactly what he did. Robin, you brought winter back to the garden, I see, said Scaffolage. Unfortunately, Scaffolage didn't notice that above the robin a birdcage was dangling from a piece of string. Nor did he see Walgo, the wicked weasel, letting go of the other end. No, that nasty little robin won't be able to announce that it's winter, which means my cutsies won't get cold, said Walgo. But Scaffolage appeared from above and shouted, Walgo, Walgo! I just met someone who would very much like to meet you. Oh, no! Can't you see I'm busy? Snapped Walgo. Ah, oh, yes, that's what I told him. Walgo is a very busy weasel, I said. Too busy to speak to just anyone. That's right. I'm very important, said Walgo proudly. But he said he didn't think you were busy. In fact, he said you were a moth eat no baggy pants. Ah, oh, what? Let me meet him. And so, Scaffolage led Walgo away from poor trapped Robin. Hello? Grumbled Garboil. What's that weasel doing in front of my house? Walgo, of course, hadn't seen a snowman before. And to him it looked just like a large human with a white coat on. Come here, Walgo! Boomed Scaffolage. Oh, 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 me? Garbled Walgo. It is I, the large human with the white coat. You should know that if there were no more cold winters, then there would be no more warm summers. Then the bad-tempered Garboil threw a snowball at Walgo. Thinking that the snowball had come from the snowman, the frightened Walgo quickly hobbled away. Now, while Walgo had been talking to the snowman, Prudel Targ and Oddly Small had tied the string back around Walgo's waist. As he left, the string went tight and lifted the birdcage, releasing poor Robin. But the weight of the birdcage brought him crashing down again. Of course, Prudel Targ and Oddly Small soon took pity on the unfortunate weasel and knitted him a new pair of socks to keep his tootsies warm.